Displace a double pendulum a small amount, plot both of the angles, and you get this extraordinary curve. I want to show you the range of intricate structures that emerge if you slightly change this function. I'll just show all the powers between 1 and 10. If you also consider negative powers, you can see these structures emerge in an absolutely mesmerizing and mind-blowing way. But something incredible happens in the range between 0.13 to 0.2. If you sweep through the values, this remarkable motion is produced. Instead of iterating the function f of z equals z squared plus c, what happens if you iterate f of z equals z cubed plus c? How about f of z equals z to the fourth plus c? If you simply go up by one power each time, similar types of structures continue to emerge where at each step, one additional outer cusp is added. It turns out that all of these structures belong to a set that is a generalization of the Mandelbrot set and it goes by the name of the multi-brot set. It is defined by considering the points that remain bounded when iterating the function f of z equals z to the n plus c for any integer n greater than or equal to two. Here, I showed up to n equals 100. But if you continued with this process, in the limit that n goes to infinity, you will approach the unit circle. This cool animation shows what happens when you apply negative one times the cosine function to the unit circle. Pick a point on the unit circle and apply cosine to it. Draw a line connecting the two points. Do this for the first half of the circle. For the second half, by applying cosine with a changing coefficient, this interesting spiral pattern emerges. If you let the coefficient range from negative 2 to positive 2, an amazing pattern results.